Last but not least, Ice Dance. Ice Dance. This discipline is so bittersweet for me. On the one hand, some of my favorite skaters came and they delivered. However, at the same time, this will be the last time I see them compete, probably ever, at least professionally. What a great end for Gabriella Papadakis and Guillaume Cizeron, winning their final world on home ice. I know the last two years has been really hard on them, especially on Gabby. But for them to come back, to do it on their term, to create the programs that they wanted and to come and deliver it and to not only win worlds at home, but also to win an Olympic gold medal. From start to finish, I have loved both of their program. And if this is the way that they end their career, I can live with that. However, a part of me secretly hoped that they pull a Tessa and Scott where they go away for two years and then they come back the season before the Olympic. I know this is a selfish wish for me, but I feel like they're so young. They're so beautiful. They have so much to give to skating and I really want to see more of them. I actually want them to come back and do a lyrical program simply because it's been so long since we've had them do a lyrical program. Gabby, Guillaume, don't go! But I understand, I understand. It's time for them to retire because they feel they've done what they needed to do. I can understand that. In addition to our world champion, we're also losing our silver medalists. Skating-wise, Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue are one of the most talented team in the world. Their ice coverage, edge, knee bend, everything about them is world-class. Their ability to pick good material not so much. The Janet Jackson program became more palatable to me as the season went on. While their free remained generically lovely. I wish this team had better material because they are so talented and they could do and be so much more. I also wish they would stay one or two more seasons. However, I guess with a silver medal at the team even in the Olympic, an individual bronze medal and now silver at world, I can see why they feel satisfied and think, you know, they should end their career on this high. I will, however, miss them. Rounding out the podium was my favorite alien and astronaut, Madison Chalk and Evan Bates. I am so glad they will be around next season. I don't know what I would do if we lost all three teams. Um, I don't know if they're going to decide to stay until 2026 because that's a long time away. However, I'm so happy just to have them for one more season. Um, I'm going to really look forward to what they're going to do next season. Because with um, Gabby and Guillaume gone, with Hubble and Danny Hu gone, I feel like the I Am School has a lot more time to invest in creating interesting programs not only for Chuck and Bates but all the other teams that they have but then again they might just end up getting a whole bunch of new teams so I guess we're gonna have to wait and see how they play out but anyhow I really cannot wait to see what they do next season and what the school as a whole does with all of their skaters next season I feel like the future of um, ice dancing more so than all the other discipline is very bright like in juniors we saw so many young promising skaters we had you know our new junior world champion um omar brown and and gage brown this is such an interesting brother and sister duo every season i feel like they show a different side to their skating i do wonder if they're going to continue to skate with each other or if they're going to do what the parsons did and split up Well, whatever they decide to do, I'm really interested to see how their coaching team will overcome the limitation that siblings have within skating. Um, Second was the little Canadian team, um, Natalie um, Delzandro and Bruce Waddell. This team gives me shade of Tessa and Scott. There is something special there. There's an awareness of the judges and the fan. There's an awareness to their relationship to each other. I mean, they need to work on edge control, but I feel like they have time to work on these same things, time to grow into themselves. 
but I just think there is just there's a glimpse of something special there like an unnamed factor I, I really like this team for some reason and then in third place was um, Nadia Bushkowski and Peter Bermont. This team is very technically proficient. However, their delivery and performance just for me falls a little short. Unfortunately, I just feel like the connection for them, which sometimes can be the hardest thing for young pairs to find, was simply not there. And then just off the podium was Katarina Wolfskin and Jeffrey Chen. I know they were one of the favorite to win coming in. However, a fall in the rhythm dance just took them out of podium contention altogether. Again, not my favorite program this season. I really wish we could retire Michael Jackson from skating. Like, no more Michael for any skaters. However, I do think Jeffrey is the stronger skater of the two. He has beautiful deep knee bend. He glides over the ice. He has beautiful edge control, beautiful long balletic line. But then again, Jeffrey is three years older than Katarina. So he had three more years to work on these things. I feel like Katarina has a lot of potential to grow. I think she just needs the time and probably the right team and coaching environment for her to grow into herself. But overall, this is another skater that I am looking forward to see how they grow. Guys, I just have so much about skating that I'm looking forward to for the 2020 um 2023 season. And also, oh my god guys, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do because I had written so much material before the Olympic before the war and part of me is like just get rid of all that material, but another part of me is like record the material just because I I just think it would be so interesting what my perspective was like what I thought the world was going to be like before worlds before the war and what it really is like but you guys let me know i'm thinking of just recording all the materials i made as is and just letting you guys know that i made all this material before everything happened before grandpa's super juice before you know putin and his war before before sasha hated everybody i came up with these ideas and i wrote them out so I, I think I'm going to make them and just let you guys let me know what you think. Well, anyways, I felt like this season, the 2021-2022 season was just, I, I, I don't know how to politely put it, but it was just a hot mess where shit was hitting the fan at every corner. And it left me with so much feelings and me and my therapist just delved into the world of figure skating like I've like my poor therapist probably never want to hear from me again. But I feel like it was just the most interesting season of figure skating I have had in a very long time. Not since Sochi have I had so much feelings about figure skating. But you guys let me know what what you thought of the season, what you're looking forward to for next season. Leave me a comment below.